Good morning, adventurers. So we haven't been vlogging for the last few days as usual because uh, we were in we were in Ireland and we had to just kind of catch up. But we've flown over to Glasgow here in Scotland, and we're doing something really interesting today. We're heading uh, just a town over, about 30 minutes outside of the city, to a town called Kilmarnock. Um, I don't know. You guys probably already know Matt here, who's our buddy who's been traveling with us. His last name is Boyd, and he's traced his family history to the town of Kilmarnock. And they actually were the lords of Kilmarnock for like three or four hundred years, years like a long time ago. And they have a castle there that they built in the 1300s, originally in the 1300s. So we're taking a little trip out there and we're going to basically do a tour of Boyd's like ancestral castle. We're going to help him reclaim the throne. <laughs> you, you think they'll let you reclaim the I'm throne? I'm going to show up and say, I own all this now, thank you. <laughs> This was the home of the Boyds, Lords of Kilmarnock. I'm a lord. I'm a lord of Kilmarnock. So we're at the grounds of the castle now and it's surrounded by this giant park area and there's literally just like deer roaming around like 20 feet away from us. Buddy, you want some food? So this land was given to the Boyds by like King Robert, I think, in the 1300s, and they built this uh, castle, the original castle, but it burned down in 1730s. Then they ended up selling it, and it uh, changed hands over the centuries, and then eventually. Someone inherited it or purchased it in uh, the early 1900s and they restored it and then eventually in 1975 it was given back to the city or given to the city of Kilmarnock. So now it's just a public place you can go and tour and it's really cool. This is the um, oldest known, the earliest known sculpture of William Wallace. So if you ever want to wonder what, what he actually looks like, here you go. So the inside of the castle is a bit of a museum. They have some awesome artifacts in here. This tapestry here is from 1470. That is intense. That is one old piece of work. Really? No. That's awesome. Apparently they have a little 10 minute short film about the Boyds of Kilmarnock, so we're going to go check it out. We just learned in the video that Matt's 8th great, eighth great grandfather was beheaded at the Tower of London. That's insane, right? <laughs> yeah. So cool. Not cool, but crazy. This is all, this wall here is all original. 600 years old? Yes. That's crazy. Opening doors with that? This is an original door key. Look at this huge thing. Holy cow. So this here is the keep. This was the original part of the castle. So this is the first thing they built in the 1300s. Then everything else was kind of slowly added on. Fun little fact, these little uh, spots on the bottom of the castle that jut out, he told us that this was so that when someone was attacking, you could drop a boulder from up there and it would fall, hit this, and then go flying out and kill people. And kill me. That was pretty cool, huh? That was crazy. Like he, he walked me through like the family line and like all the battles and like how we acquired this castle and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. It was insane. This family tree is from 1205 to 1748. 
That's it was crazy. Awesome. He told me about like the coat of arms and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. That was he knew all the things. He literally about knew everything. everything. He knew everything <laughs> there was to know about this guy's family. <laughs> it was <laughs> <That's> awesome. awesome. <laughs> that is a sweet. I'm glad you were able to do that. That was yeah. That was really cool. It was like a, very few people get to do something was, like that. I mean, it's like a once in a lifetime kind of thing. You know, you just yeah. learn about your history. He tried to claim the throne, but the guy said no. So. <laughs> on our way to just uh, the town so we can find like a pub to drink at but keep getting south by all this awesome architecture we just stumbled upon this really really old graveyard it looks really old <laughs> Check out this pub we stumbled upon. This is legit, man. Nice work. You got that? We successfully made it to the train, but barely. <laughs> barely, the guy was yelling at us. He was yelling at us, but we made it on the train. We might have had a couple pints, so we're a little, a little tipsy. I didn't, I didn't have any pints. But the plan is, so we're gonna head back to our Airbnb, but there's a brewery that's right nearby, and I think we're going to... Go have dinner there. A, a couple of people have recommended it. I think it's the Drygate Brewery, and they do tours today, but we missed it. So, so we're just gonna go there and drink. Try a match anyway. It's gotten properly cold out here. It's windy. <laughs> Very windy. But we found the brewery. This is it. It's called Drygate. He talked me into getting uh, the Ornico, which is a breakfast stout. And it literally tastes like a uh, glass of breakfast. A glass of breakfast sausage and eggs. <laughs> so, thank you. Whoa. So I got the orzoto, which in retrospect is probably pretty light, but <laughs> Allison went with the burger because she's smart. No, falafel burger. Falafel burger. Uh, did you go with the proper burger? Oh my God. Dude, this has chorizo, I think like pulled pork or something, and like burger. So it's like. No, and black pudding. Yeah, black pudding. It's like meat on meat on meat. It's crazy. Meat for days. Yeah. Now I have. <laughs> so we are back at our Airbnb. I just wanted to give you guys a quick look around the place because we're actually leaving tomorrow. We're going to head down to Paris for a couple weeks. But. Um, we had kind of a funny story with this place. We got it kind of last minute and we wanted to, well, first off, let me show you the place. I mean, it's pretty spectacular. Allison's just chilling in here, getting some work done. It's my office. Hi. Welcome. But we wanted to tell you guys about a sweet hack that we've been doing on Airbnb and it's been working pretty well. But basically we look for listings that are brand new and don't have any ratings. But the key is if you look at the person who listed the house, they sometimes have other properties. So you can see that the person has a certain amount of ratings even though that the property might not have any ratings. So that tells you that this person is probably reputable but they usually have a lower price, sometimes even like half price because it's a brand new listing and they're trying to you know, get their first tenants in there. So we've done this with our last couple places and we have saved a lot of money. What did we end up paying for this place? This one ended up being, I think like a little over 80 a night and there's USD and there's three of us staying here. Yeah. So it's yeah. Just a little it ends up being like 25, 25 bucks. Like 30 bucks. Yeah, night, like yeah. 25 bucks or so a night, which I mean for this, like I don't know if you guys can really tell, but it's a pretty nice place. It's in like an old uh, newspaper printing building or something like that that has a ton of history and it's all been renovated. And usually we go for more of a rustic look, but you know this is pretty nice too. <laughs> pretty modern. And it's dark out, but it also has a pretty cool view. Like, oh yeah, there's, there's a pretty nice view over here and gigantic windows so you get a ton of light even though the weather's been pretty terrible so there hasn't been much light to see. But like I said, tomorrow, we're going to vlog tomorrow. We haven't been vlogging our travel days just because it's 
pure chaos and having the camera around, it just makes it so much harder. But we're gonna do it for you guys because we like showing that transition part between places so we don't just appear in new places as you guys are watching. Plus, we're pretty notoriously terrible at traveling and I feel like we always decide we're not gonna vlog on a travel day and then like so many things go wrong. Yeah. And, I and then we're always really sad because we're like, oh yeah, they would have liked this. Yeah. <laughs> they would have laughed their ass yeah. off at us. <laughs> but anyways, we're gonna go to bed because we gotta get up early for our flight tomorrow. Yeah, well, early for us, yeah, which is like 7 a.m., but that's okay. So good night adventures. We'll see you on the road.